We've all fallen victim of jumping onto skincare products because our favorite influencer recommended it. Yes, it could work for them, but the question is, is the reason for your own dark circle the same as the reason for theirs? Just before you click out of this video, because maybe you don't have dark circles yet, this video is for everyone. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to prevent getting this dark on the eyes. And if you already have them, not to worry. I'm going to be showing you how you can determine by yourself the reason for your own dark on the eye. And that way you're able to get the right treatment for yourself. And if you stick around to the end, we're going to be talking about the different options that are available for you to get rid of your dark on the eye. Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Onine Anikwe. If this is your first time here, welcome to the family. You're in the right place. Today's video is by popular demand. I've had a lot of people reach out to me to say, do a video on how we can get rid of our dark on the eyes. And yeah, here is your video today. First off, we're going to try to understand why we have dark on the eyes. The skin under your eye is delicate and thinner than the skin on all the other parts of your body. Because it is thinner, it's easier to see the blood vessels around that area. So the blood vessels under your eyes are more visible because the skin of the under eye is thinner. This is basically what makes it appear as dark circles. There are several factors that can contribute to this and these are broadly divided into two categories. And that is why it seems like you're using a particular eye cream with a particular ingredient and it's not giving you the results you want. We've all fallen victim of jumping onto skincare products because our favorite influencer recommended it. Yes, it could work for them, but the question is, is the reason for your own dark circle the same as the reason for theirs? So you need to be determining the major cause of what you have. It's peculiar to use. This is why you find that one person might use a skincare product and it works for them. And another person tries it and has complaints. So the reason for your dark circle could be as a result of two factors. Is it that is as a result of pigmentation or is as a result of the blood vessels. Let me break this down even further. What is responsible for giving your skin its color is called melanin, right? So if that melanin, that pigment settles down in one particular area, it can cause pigmentation. And that's what we call hyperpigmentation. You get hyperpigmentation through different ways. Also, if this pigment is overproduced in a particular area, it can also lead to dark patches on your skin. When you go out under the sun without your sunscreen and your sunglasses, the sun rays stimulate the melanin production under your eye. So you, you produce, you begin to overproduce melanin around that area and that can lead to dark circles under your eye. This is why people stress the fact that you need to be wearing your sunscreens and using UV sunglasses. These things are really very important if you want to prevent dark circles. Hormonal changes, inflammation, the list goes on and on. When you have an injury around your eye, these can cause hyperpigmentation. Everything I've mentioned here falls under pigmentation. So if your dark circle is caused as a result of pigmentation, then there is a particular way or particular ingredient that you need to be using to help you get rid of it. The second category is the one caused by blood vessels. This is even more prominent with people who are older because as you age, your skin gets even thinner right so as it thins out even more you see that the blood vessels under your eyes become more visible so age is one of the factors that fall under the blood vessel category right for some people it is genetic so you are more predisposed to have dark circles if it's a genetic thing for you another thing is lack of sleep if you're not resting enough it can cause your blood vessels under that area to dilate making it more visible so basically the skin being thin and the visibility of the blood blood vessels underneath it is what makes dark circles prominent. So let's just recap. I have divided the two reasons why you may have dark circles under your eyes into two categories. One is blood vessels and the second one is pigmentation. So before we go into how you can determine which one you fall under, let's talk about how you can prevent this. So if you're watching this video and you do not have dark eye circles yet or maybe it's not very visible yet at this point there are things you can do 
to avoid it being really prominent. And one of the first things is that you need to be resting. Make sure you're getting seven to eight hours sleep. Rest, 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 rest. Rest is a very important aspect of your skin health. So make sure you're getting enough, a lot of sleep. Also, as much as you can, prevent stress. I know that adult life, <laughs> I know that adulthood comes with a lot of stress, but as much as you can, do things that help you de-stress things that help you manage your stress, either hanging out with friends or maybe going to church or whatever it is that helps, that works for you to ease your nerves. You need to be doing that more. Another thing, when you're getting your sunglasses, don't just get sunglasses. Look for sunglasses that have UV protection. Yeah, they're actually sunglasses that help you. That is going to give you extra protection after you've used your sunscreen and then you're still using those UV glasses. Aside from using your sunscreen on that area, you can give extra protection by using UV glasses. You need to cut down on your alcohol intake. Smoking is doing your health more harm than good, so if you can, stay away from it. Now to the real deal. How do you know which of these two categories you fall under? Pigmentation or blood vessels? Now, this is a quick way to determine that. I'm going to show you just pinch, lightly pinch the area under your eye, pinch it, and then release it. If the darkness remains, even after you have released it, then you know that your own under eye is as a result of pigmentation. If the darkness fades off after a while, then you know that it is as a result of the blood vessels underneath your eye. So once you've determined which category you fall into, the next thing would be to begin to think of ways that you can get rid of this. Whilst a lot of people say that eye creams do not really work, what's important basically it's the ingredient in your eye cream. If there is nothing there, then you just say it's a moisturizer. You want to be using eye creams that have specific ingredients that target your own specific concern. There are various ways that people have come up with treating dark circles. I'm going to be sharing some of these with you. These are not scientifically proven, but I mean, they are not expensive. So it's not going to cost you anything to try it. Try and get enough sleep at night. Get enough sleep at night. I cannot overemphasize that. Raising your head on a pillow may also help to reduce dark circles and swelling around your eye area. Number two, this one we've known for like forever, using cucumber slices around your eyes. According to older research, this, this has been a while, in 2013, research shows that using slices of cucumber around your eye can help, you know, reduce swelling and soothe tired eyes. So you might want to try this. Cucumber also contains a lot of water and vitamin C. So that may help to soothe your swelling and relax your eyes your tea bags can be really helpful as well so when you use them do not trash them you can save them in your fridge and place them on your eyes to help lessen the dark circles and puffy eyes especially the ones that have caffeine can be really helpful one hack i use at home is to use ice underneath my eyes so i have these um popsicle mold for my kids and in one of them i have ice the cold temperature basically just reduces the blood flow and the appearance of dark circles so i always have ice in one of them and i use it underneath my eye this is not really a permanent solution but you know it's it comes handy and it's inexpensive as well if you do not have ice an ice tray or you do not have anything like this you can use your spoon just put your spoon in the fridge or freezer when it's cold you can use that underneath your eyes so that's one hack that i use also try and get facials because poor circulation around that area can cause dark circles under your eyes let's move on to the topical treatments you can use bear in mind that we talked about the two categories pigmentation and blood vessels so if you, if yours is as a result of pigmentation then you should be using serums like vitamin c serum and niacinamide to help you get rid of the pigmentation and if it's as a result of blood vessels then you should be considering getting serums that contain caffeine eye creams that contain caffeine and retinol eye creams as well there are other more advanced clinical procedures that can be used to also do this. you can visit an aesthetician for more advanced procedures like laser treatment also you can opt for fillers i haven't used one before and i am not looking to doing that anytime soon this is actually an effective way for people 
who the blood vessel is a result for their dark under eyes. So you can have hyaluronic acid gel under the eye area or platinum rich plasma. So that gives, you know, the appearance of more fat. That helps with the thinned out area and then reduces the dark circles under the eye. Blepharoplasty can also be done and that's surgery to get rid of the dark eye circles. But if you don't mind, you can also use your concealers to conceal the dark eye area because honestly for most people especially as you get older the skin around your under eye is slightly darker but in cases where it's extreme then you can try out any of these options basically it's important for you to be determining the cause for your dark circles know why you specifically have these dark circles and that will help you determine what the best treatment for you is let me know in the comment section if you've tried any of these options which ones were really effective for you which ones didn't work and if you have any question please drop it in the comment section i'm going to do my best to answer it as much as i can thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again in my next one bye thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe